you all know that it's a story of um, a girl, squirrel, and poetry, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and I earlier today I was just saying to somebody, it's just I had to go back into my notebooks to figure out where it all came from because mm -hmm. it's really kind of strange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. hard to explain it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah. so. <laughs> It, and it begins with a squirrel getting sucked up into a vacuum cleaner, which turns him into a superhero. And um, which makes, you know, it's just like, how do you come up with that? I don't know. So I went back through my notebooks and I found that several different things happened around the same time. One, my mom had passed away and she had an Electrolux vacuum cleaner that she thought the sun rose and set over. <laughs> and in the last year of her life, she would say to me frequently, what will happen to the Electrolux after I'm gone? <laughs> and she meant it. And I would always say, I'll take the vacuum cleaner. It'll be fine. And so I did take the vacuum cleaner when it happened. Um, but she had a cat who's also actually in this book, come to think of it, mm -hmm. who was the mm -hmm. most evil cat in the world named Mildew. <laughs> and um, she... I'm allergic to cats, so I got the vacuum cleaner. I, I took it, but it was filled with cat dander, so I kept it in the garage until I could like figure out how to live with it. And every time I pulled into the garage, it would make me sad. I would see the, uh, the Electrolux and miss her. And then there was a squirrel who was dying on my front steps. And uh, I didn't know what to do for him. I kept on like looking at him out the window, and then I would go outside. And so then I, ca I called a friend who lives a block and a half away. She, truly, she is the sweetest and kindest of all of my friends. She has asked me not to use her name um, because I said I have a squirrel dying on the front steps, and I don't know what to do. And she said, do you have a shovel? And I said, well, yeah, I've got a shovel. And she said, get an old T-shirt, get the shovel, and I'll come over there, and I'll whack him over the head. <laughs> And I'm outside right, right. with the squirrel when she says this, and I'm like backing away from the squirrel thinking, you know he's heard well. that, you know. <laughs> and I went back in the house, and I looked out the front window, and he was gone. So he went somewhere else to like die a better, yeah, a better, less bloody death. But so then you st I started thinking about ways to save a squirrel's life. So the squirrel vacuum cleaner and here we are yeah. that's the best i can do well it's pretty it. incredible i mean the way that the story comes together i mean and there's yeah. an evil cat in it too. Why? Yeah, right yeah right <laughs> which bears more than a passing resemblance to mildew uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.